let us come to pressure belts on the surface of the earth there are pressure belt just like how we kept a belt there are pressure belts but not my belt is my belt is not broken between it's continuous but pressure belts are not continuous there are lot of breaks in between let us discuss about what are they okay okay friends listen what is this earth what is this equator equator okay see i told you along the equator the insulation is more insulation means sun's rays are more as sun's rays are more along the equator temperature will be high air will be warm hot so it will be light light weight the air will rise up along the equator along equator means see equator is 0 degrees now almost take 5 degrees north to in this region in this, this is called equatorial region in the equatorial region the insulation is more the insulation is more so air temperature is more so the weight of the air is less we air is lighter lighter so air will rise up air will rise up so there pressure will be low pressure so the equatorial is called as low pressure belt the entire equator is like a belt low pressure belt okay so we call it as equatorial low pressure belt what is called equatorial low pressure belt throughout the equator the pressure is low why pressure is low that you know i explain why pressure is low okay we call it as equatorial low pressure belt okay next now friends what is this area polar area here and here polar area in polar area temperature is very less temperature less the air is cool as air is cool the weight will be more weight more weight as weight will be more the pressure will be high pressure high pressure so this is called polar high pressure belt this is a belt only this is a globe like this belt polar high pressure belt okay so friends the polar high pressure belts and equatorial low pressure belt are formed because of what your temperature temperature is the only reason here because of high temperature this belt formed because low temperature this belts formed so we can call this as pressure belts formed because of thermal reasons thermal means temperature reasons what are the pressure belts formed because of thermal reasons what are they equator low pressure belts polar belts now there are two more belts which are not because temperature which are because other reasons i will tell you other reasons okay see for example here exactly here that means you can say from 25 degrees north to 35 degrees north or 25 degrees south to 35 degrees south almost 10 degree 10 degree almost there on belt will be there that is high pressure belt the region is called as subtropical subtropical friends actually subtropical means outside the tropical what is tropical tell me anybody what is tropical region the equator no what is tropic of cancer 20th of not what is tropic of capricorn south between tropic of cancer capricorn what do you call it as tropical region outside the 23 and half that means 25 26 just outside just outside outside tropical we call it as sub no, subtropical region subtropical region okay if this is the earth if this is tropical region see actually 
this is equatorial region this is equatorial region 5 degrees to 5 degrees 23 and half 23 and half is called as tropical, tropical region 25 35 is called as subtropical sub sub similarly this is polar no very near to polar is called as subpolar polar subpolar sub tropical subtropical sub sub in between this is called as temperate region temperate temperate region is almost 50 degrees to 60 degrees temperate region temperate called as temperate temperate means you know the the you know coniferous trees will be there no cool area temperate is not as cool as polar area temperate means 10 degrees uh, so temperature uh, for example uh, equatorial area means uh, 35 degrees temperature subtropical means almost 40 degrees temperature um, uh, temperate means uh, 10 degree Subpolar means some eight, uh, 5 degree, polar means you like that. Temperate is cooler, but temperate is not cool throughout the year. Temperate is very cool during winter, in summer it is warm only, hot only. But polar is always cool. Equator is always hot. Equator has no winter season, friends. Every day is a hot and rainy. In equator, every day it will be hot, every day rain will be there, rain will be there. Equator, okay. So, tropical, subtropical, polar, subpolar, this is temperate okay no friends listen this belt is there no remember the belts are not continuous there will be some breaks in between which i'll discuss later on but you can draw for simplicity you can draw the complete belt this is called subtropical high pressure belt subtropical high pressure belt and here there will be subpolar low pressure belt. This is subtropical high pressure belt. Here you have subpolar low pressure belt. There are the two new belts which you should understand. Okay. And friends, these two belts are there, no? Subtropical high pressure belt and subpolar low. These two belts are not because of temperature. See. If, if it because of temperature, subpolar is very cool, no? Cool. Why low pressure came? Subtropical is hot, no? If it is hot, why high pressure came? You understand? So these two belts are not because of temperature. Then why they should, why those two pressure belts formed? Who created them? Anybody? Just, just a guess. Anybody? No, actually ocean currents only in the oceans will be there but this pressure belt is there not only on the ocean land also it is there on the land also it is because of rotation of earth because earth is rotating because of that these two are formed for example if earth is not, not rotating if earth is like this only not rotating then we will have how many pressure belts if earth is not rotating, how many pressure belts will be there? Only equatorial? That's all, three only. Because of rotation of the earth, these four pressure belts are, four means two pits, are created. Now let us discuss how they are created and how they will be there, okay? Friends, listen carefully. At the equator, the air will rise. Now, now friends, this is earth. Consider this as the earth. This one. This dias is a dias. Dias earth. I am at equator. Now I am at equator. Now I am at subtropical high pressure belt. So this is, now I am at equator. Now I am at subtropical high pressure belt. Now I am at subpolar, low pressure belt. Now I am at polar. polar. After that I will be going out of class. See friends, listen. Now, at equator, what happens, you know? The air rises up. After rising up, will the air go till the sun? No. After going up, anything that goes up has to come back, friend. 
You take a stone, throw it up. It has to come back now. Air is also one kind of matter. Where it will go? Nobody can escape from the earth except rockets. Earth can escape. Okay? <laughs> so air, after going up, it has to come down. So now the air is going up. Where, where I'm standing right now? Equator. The air is rising up. After, after going to certain heights, the air will? The air cannot come down in the same direction. Because here from below, air rising up now. When air rising up, how can the air come down in the same place? Understand? The air is rising up here, the air will diverge. Diverge and come down. The air will see, it is rising up equator. It diverges then comes down. Where does it come down, you know? Actually coming down is called as subsidence. Subsidence. At equator, the air rises. Rises. At, sub, at subtropical area, air subsides. Here the air subsides. Now I am standing at the subtropical high pressure belt. I am standing at? Here air is subsiding. From top air is coming down. Friend, when air is coming down, will the pressure increase, pressure decrease? Pressure will increase now. More air is coming down now. Air is coming down with force. Coming down. Pressure will increase. That's why in the subtropical areas, the pressure is higher. Air is subsiding. Now, now the air comes up, subsides. Out of sliding, will, will the air go into the earth or what? Out of subsiding, air will again diverge. Again diverge. So friends, at this place, the air is subsiding. What happened? Air subsided. After it will diverge. After diverging, again it will rise up. Here it will rise up. You understand? Here why rising up? Because it is very hot now. Rising up. But here why rising up? That is very important question. I will tell the answer. Listen. See, from here air is going like this, right? And polar area, I told you polar is a high pressure area. From high pressure, air will come out or come inside, go out or come inside. In high pressure area is there. I'm getting high pressure in the mouth. Is air going or coming in? Going out. So from polar high pressure belt, the air will come out. From here also coming out. Here also coming out. These two will collide. There will be collision, friend. There will be collision. When air collides, will it rise up or go back like rubber, like rubber ball? Rise up. Understand? So, at the subtropical high pressure belt, uh, listen carefully, at subtropical high pressure belt, subtropical high pressure belt, the air is subsiding. After subsidence, the air touches the ground, it will diverge. After diverging from equator, air will rise up. And from sub subpolar area also air will rise up. At equator, why, why is it rising up? Because of high temperature. At subpolar, why is it rising up? Because of collision. This air is there now. It is colliding with this one rising up. However, at both places it will rise up. And friends, in this place, and it is rising up, when the air rises, the pressure will be lower high. When all air is going up, here the air will bless now. Pressure will be low pressure. That's why low pressure is created here. You understood? Now, you tell me, what is your name? Krishna. At, in the subpolar area, why is low pressure created? Because of collision and rising up of air. Rising up of air. Why is there collision, rising up? Why it is happening? Because of rotation of the earth. It is happening. Okay? You tell me. At the subtropical area, why high pressure is created? Because of subsidence of air. You tell me. At the equator, why low pressure is created? Because of heat. 
At the polar area, why uh, why high pressure belt is there? Because of because of low temperature. You understand? You should know what are the pressure belts on the surface of the earth. You should also know why they are created. Take an objective question. Take an objective question. Which of the following are the reasons? Which are the which of the following are the reasons for subtropical high pressure belt? Subtropical high pressure belt. First thing, high temperature. Second. high rainfall third rotation of earth earth rotation of earth then subsidence of air subsidence of air okay fifth one revolution of earth you know revolution no rotation means like this revolution means like this okay then around the sun okay then because of rising of winds six for rising of winds okay seven eight nine I'm bored six are enough okay now the options first option is three Four, five. Second option is one, three, four, five. Third option is three, five. Fourth option is three, four. What is the answer? Option is option D is the answer. D. So to answer this question, you should have clarity. If you just by heart what are the pressure bills, you cannot answer this question. For example, I'll tell you, see. I'll tell you right now as I'm discussing you can answer. I'll tell you what I, where exactly many students get confused. Listen carefully. First point, what first point? High temperature. Tell me in subtropical area, do we have high temp low temperature? In subtropical area, do we have high temperature, low temperature? Hey, subtropical. High temperature only. Subtropical means 25 degrees, Rajasthan, these areas, 25 degrees, 35 degrees. High temperature only. At 25 degrees in uh, latitude, tem high no temperature. High temperature only. So, one will be there, high temperature. But what is the question? The question is? Reason, reason for high pressure belt. See, in this, actually in this area, high temperature is there. But because of high temperature, high pressure will not be created. Because of high temperature, High pressure will not be created, no. Because of high temperature, which pressure will be created? Low pressure, high pressure. Low pressure. Wherever temperature is higher, pressure will be lower, no. So, because actually here, high temperature is there here. So, we expect low pressure. But still, here, high pressure will be created. Why? Because of rotation of earth substance, 3 and 4. So many people go for 1, 3, 4. Where is 1, 3, 4? See, 1, 3, 4 is there. When will go for that? Actually, I'm not lying. 1, 3, 4. Because they know 3, 4 is correct. They know 3 is correct, 4 is correct. 1, they'll be confused. These kind of confusions are very common in the prelims. What happens, friend? Right now, you are very clear about what I explained. But you read geography, physical geography, human geography, history, economy, polity. Towards the end, everything you forget. Call phenomena. That's why whatever questions you are able to answer today, with the same clarity you cannot answer on the exam day. Only few students who, who revise so many times, whatever you teach in the class, you write the notes, revise so many times, only they will be of that much clarity. But those when revisions are done by very few students. Remain students, you have to just guess. Guess that's all. Okay? Okay. Now, take the means question. Write the means question. Explain the formation of pressure belts. Explain the formation of pressure belts.
on the surface of the earth on the surface of the earth and mention the reasons and mention the reasons with neat sketches or with diagram mention the reason with diagram diagram is important diagram means no need to draw uh, excellent diagrams rough diagram with pencil you can just draw rough diagrams okay diagram should diagram should explain the concepts that's all beauty is not required in diagrams okay okay now friends as you understood the various pressure belts on surface of the earth let me tell you do you expect this pressure belt should be always fixed or they're moving are they fixed or they move friends they move they are not fixed they move understand just like how you move the pant up and down the pressure belts move really it moves do you know why it moves based on the sun tell me is sun always above equator anybody tell me in which month sun is above equator tell me in which month sun is above, exactly above equator huh? who said may correct september march are correct answers friend if this is earth let's say this is earth from here to here what is this what is this earth this is equator what is this equator now sun is above equator in the month of march april may june july august september again september it comes to the equator october november december january february march again comes equator so sun moves like this around the equator but sun will not go till the polar area it will not go like this sun will not go till the poles friend sun will move from equator to tropic of cancer again equator again tropic of capricorn that's all Tra sun always moves in the tropical region only sun will never go to subtropical region temperate region polar area other area it will not go sun always sticks between the tropic of cancer to that's all so for example what is this earth what is this what is this what is this sun will be here in the month of march april it goes here april may june again comes back july august september september out september then october november december again january february march you understand now you tell me no you tell me you tell me above equator sun will be exactly above equator which month which month march and sun will be exactly above tropic of cancer in which month june sun will be exactly in tropic of capricorn which month that's why in the in the countries here no countries here for example india is also india is of course india is like this India is like this, but anyhow, the regions exactly on this uh, 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 um, ca Cancer in the June they are very hot, very hot. Compared to May, June is hotter. May in this area, see, see in this area, May, 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 see this area. In this area, in the May it will be very hot. June it will hot in this area. Understand? Equal to hot in March. Australia will have summer season in see but in December sun is far away from India India is here no see India is, in June India is hot December means see where sun is the farthest sun is far away from India in the month of December that's why December is a winter season winter season but for Australia December is a hot summer season so in winter if you want to go to summer season go to Australia in January, December, if you want the hot sun, go to Australia, okay? But in May, in the hot sun, May, if you want cool, you have to go to many places are there. India also you can go to some places, Himalayas, okay? Anyhow, friends, now, as sun is moving like this, see, I told you very clearly, 
the equatorial pressure belts and the polar pressure belts are created only because of temperature because sun only if the sun itself is moving the pressure belts cannot stay there they will also move right so exactly in the march it is present here now i will uh, erase the board confused please raise your hands i want to know really so that based on that i will uh, slow up whatever friends listen carefully listen what is this earth what is this belt in the month of march the belt will be here in the month of april the belt will go here so the same belt equatorial belt it will go here see as belt moves similarly see listen this is a polar area no when sun is here when sun is here it will be cool till here till here it will be cool entire is polar high pressure belt only when sun is moving near to polar area this will become hot the cool will be only in this place the cold area will reduce now sun is going near right so in march in march the pressure belt is here polar belt is still here april may by june the pressure belt will remove from it will be uh, moving from here to here polar also will become narrow polar will become narrow it will not move polar cannot go outside the earth it in the earth only it will become narrow it will become polar now when these two are moving friends i told you very clearly the remaining two pressure belts are created because of these two pressure belts for example because of polar pressure belt only as the winds are coming here winds are going that's why this belt is created right if polar is not there sub polar will not be created similarly sub tropical is created because why equatorial winds are going up they are going and subsiding if equatorial belt no, not there that belt will also be not there understood first equatorial polar important belts because of these belts other belts are created other belts created now as these two polar is moving and equator is moving obviously these two will also move up so now observe carefully this is march what is this this is march what is this march this is april this is may see in the march pressure belts are like this you go to low pressure belts subtropical hyper subpolar low pressure belts polar no forget about this let's say this is may april i cannot draw i cannot do the diagrams this diagram only i am uh, see now in the month of may this belt will be here see move up this belt will move this belt will polar you cannot see somewhere small it reduces in size completely moves see like this you are drawing the exam to differentiate between moving now friends what about the below belts there is a belt here no and there is a belt here no and this belt here no no what happens now very good yes see this belt will move up now it is here this belt will move up this belt will become very large almost see this much polar belt so in the month of may the northern polar belt will be small southern polar belt will be large now friends do you know the effect of this one this will create a very large effect that effect will understand only when i tell about the winds i'll, I'll tell you in tomorrow's class